thank you for joining with me. We are with Ken Wapnick, PhD, in his journey through the text of A Course in Miracles. And today we are on Chapter 5, Healing and Wholeness. Picking up in the decision for forgiveness, this is 5, 2, 3, 11. It is the final lesson that I learned and God's sons are as equal as learners as they are as sons. The fact that Jesus learned this lesson means we can learn it too, because God's Son is one, his single mind, though fragmented into a quasi-infinite number of forms, has the same power to choose heaven or earth, atonement or separation. 261 The Holy Spirit calls you both to remember and to forget. By his very presence in our right minds, the Holy Spirit calls us to forget the ego's thought system we have chosen and made real and remember the God who created us, whom in our delusional thinking we believe we attacked and abandoned. 262 You have chosen to be in a state of opposition in which opposites are possible. This is a play on the word opposite. We are in a state of opposition because we believe we made a world of opposites in which we are at war with God and consequently with everyone else. As homo sapiens, We have this inherent and insatiable need to attack and constantly be in conflict, reminiscent of the original war that results in our continually reenacting the ontological battle with God. There are those who reenact the civil war every year, and in a sense we reenact the original civil war with each war we fight as persons and as a species. 5, 2, 6, 3, and 5, 6, 6 through 8. As a result, there are choices you must make. The Holy Spirit, like the ego, is a decision. Together they constitute all the alternatives the mind can accept and obey. The Holy Spirit and the ego are the only choices open to you. There are choices, the ego and the Holy Spirit, because we made a world of opposites in which the illusion of decision is our only hope. There are, of course, no choices in heaven, where there is only God and His undifferentiated oneness. But in our dream of separation, we can choose to remain asleep by judgment and attack or awaken through the practice of forgiveness. 5264. In the holy state, the will is free, so that its creative power is unlimited and choice is meaningless. Recall that to say the will is free is different from the concept of free will, which has meaning only within the illusion, where we are free to choose between two voices. In heaven, our will is free because it cannot be limited or constrained. God's will is eternally free to be itself, to extend or create its perfect oneness. What then is there to decide? 5265. Freedom to choose is the same power as freedom to create, but its application is different. Both are within the mind, but the freedom to choose within the split mind, duality, is a distortion of the freedom to create, which belongs only to the mind of God or Christ, non-duality. 5, 2, 6, 6 through 9. Choosing depends on a split mind. The Holy Spirit is one way of choosing. God did not leave his children comfortless, even though they chose to leave him. The voice they put in their minds was not the voice for his will, 
for which the Holy Spirit speaks. Note this idea's first definitive statement. The importance of knowing we have a choice between these two voices is that we cannot really know we have a choice until we know we have a mind, even though it may not be clear to us at this point that Jesus is speaking about and to the mind, it is clear he is speaking of choice, which can have meaning only in the context of the decision-making mind. 5, 2, 8, 1 through 2, and 5. The Holy Spirit is your guide in choosing. He is in the part of your mind, the right mind, that always speaks for the right choice. Because he speaks for God, both heaven and earth are in you, because the call of both is in your mind. Jesus lays out for us the structure of the split mind, the voice of the ego, i.e. earth, and the voice of the spirit, Holy Spirit, i.e. heaven. Even though he never uses the term decision maker in the course, except in a, once in a different context than the manual for teachers, it is obviously implied throughout. For Jesus continually urges us to choose. The part of the mind that must choose between these two voices is what we call the decision maker. I'm going to go ahead and stop there today, and I will pick up tomorrow. I hope you have a lovely day. Thank you so much for joining with me. I love you. I Bye-bye. am sure that you can relate to this as well as I, um, that it does require great willingness and constant, constant practice, and that guilt is useless. Guild only separates us and keeps us further from the light of the Spirit. I love you. Thank you so much for joining with me. Have a beautiful day, and I will see you tomorrow.